M0 FXB, welcome to my channel. So here we have two HF VHF all band all mode radios, 70 centimeter. They do not have antenna tuners, but they have lots and lots of functions packed into them. I thought I'd show them side by side. Let's turn up the Icom 7000 first. You can get these second hand for about 450, 500 pound, and they do so much. And uh, they came out a oh, good, a good, I would say, good 10, 15 years. Um, both of them were, were available, I would say. Uh, both discontinued now. Let's turn this one up. That's the ICOM 7000. And we're only receiving at three or four pounds. We do have a preamp. No tuner connected at the moment. So let's turn that one down. Let's turn up this 857. Obviously, they always sound better with an external speaker. So, functionality-wise, I mean, they, they still they actually very similar in their layout. You know, you got um, the, the um, sorry the the volume here, volume here, channel change here, channel change here, up and down the bands with the seven thousand like so on the 857 up and down here look vfo memory on the side on this on this one the vfo memory is you have your menus here at the bottom push the green button m1 m2 there's your vfo memory m3 m1 and then you hold it you get your s menus go through them you hold it again you get your meters there's even a scope, SWR graph. There's your scope. It does, it does jump, but you can hold it, and then you can move and find those peaks. There's some peaks here. Look, very usable. Go back to seven one three zero. It holds that fixed position. I do prefer, you know the 7000 because the screen just looks amazing but they're both a pure joy to use it's quite hard to find radios that do everything of this size that have got 100 watts on hf and a decent power on vhf and uhf you try and buy one in today's market a current radio and it's virtually impossible to buy so size wise the 857 is a longer radio I've got this nice carry handle, and you can get a carry handle for the 857. You've got two antenna connections. You do need some sort of external device if you're gonna start doing FT8 digital modes. The one I got for the 857 is the, I believe it's the U5 signal link. I haven't looked to see what I can use on the ICOM. I got a feeling that the U5 signal link will do it, I just need a different cable uh, and I'll look, in, I'll look into that. Someone tell me if they're watching this, if they know which cable you need for the U5 signal link ICOM um, 7000. So frequency wise, your step, you know, you've got the shortcut button here. I would say on the 857, you probably have to push the function, turn through. You're looking at these little shortcuts here, A, B and C until you find, you know, your settings or you hold down the button there and you've got all these menus, look, 100, is it 100 menus to choose from as well? And there is a service menu like there always is on these radios. You've got home channel, clarifier, VFO, memory, what's that one down, do down there? Lock button down here. Nice, nice, nice VFO knobs on these. On the ICOM, you push the quick button here, you can push quick and then you go up and down the quick menu, look, power, 
like so push it again you've got display all these options on your display as well I remember how to go up and down again with the arrows look at all these options great fun to just sit here going through all these menus and this is very similar to the icom 705 icom 7300 let's just go back time we have we set the time well it's not too far it's near time and date we've got the right year uh, so let's go back and then others that's one of the main ones if you go look on that one let's go to the very oh that's 51 menu there at the bottom you've got this slider here Let's go all the way up to the top. So this will be all touch screen on your ICOM 705, which I've got upstairs. Monitor, beep, RF squelch, split, duplex. You can do all your repeaters. It will do digital mode. You just need that extra bit of help. Programmable microphones as well, which looks like this, which pretty much does everything that you want it to do. This way to do CW, yes, of course. Mode select. CIV settings as well. Um, so also I think I've missed and you've got your filters here, noise blanker, noise reduction, uh, manual notch, automatic notch is that. Let's just push the filter here. Go to, if we, oh, did you see the scope start then? There's the scope. Right, let's turn, that was the 857 you could hear. Back on the 7000. Span it and then you just search through for the activity. Let's, let's put that same one 145 on the 857, like so. 145 is quite a strong one coming through there. Let's turn the ICOM 7000 back up. So when it's running, it does run. See that? But you get that break up. So you just push hold. Then you go to your peaks. Let's go to that one there. Is that digi? That'll probably be digital. Yeah, it looks like digi modes there. And you've got your filter showing here. Push your hold down here. Go to your filter. You briefly can look at it and change it, look. Or you hold it. When you hold it, it stays on the screen. And you will have these sort of settings. There's a default button, a soft button. You will have these sort of settings in the 857. It won't, they won't look as nice, but you'll find that there'll be some decent filtering built into it. So uh, thanks for watching my channel. Thought I'd show these together. You know, just having fun, playing ham radio. Buy the rate, what I say, buy the radios you enjoy. Don't buy the radios you need. Buy what you enjoy. They hold their value. 7-3, catch you on now. All the best.